Hello children. Today in this video we are going to start with our new chapter, chapter 18, recognition of solids or 3D shapes. So let us start. First of all children, cuboid. In this we will do number of faces, vertices and edges. Faces, these are the faces children. Okay. And edges, where the two faces are meeting each other, that is known as the edges. That line is known as the edge. And where the lines of the faces are meeting at a point, it is known as the vertex. So children, in the cuboid, how many faces are there? 1, 2, 1 backward, 3, 4, 5 and the backward one, 6, 1. So number of faces are 6. Number of vertices, 8 vertices are there children. And next is the number of edges. 12 edges are there. Similarly children, cube. Cube is actually a cuboid whose length, breadth and height are same. So that is called a cube. cube. So in cube also number of faces are 6, vertices 8 and edges how many? 12. Next figure is children, cylinder. Cylinder is having 3 faces. One up, one at the bottom, another one is the curved. And two edges are there and there is no vertex. Next is children sphere. Sphere is a ball you can take. In this no vertex is there, no edge and here a but a curved surface area is there. So in a sphere there is a curved surface area. Cone, one vertex is there, two faces, one curved and one downward and one edge is there. This is the edge children. Next is children prism. In prism, the two faces, like two triangular faces, are parallel. Maybe two triangular, maybe two rectangular, hexagonal or anything. Whatever we are taking, they should be parallel to each other in a prism. So, prism is triangular prism in which two triangles are on the parallel sides. Okay, then rectangular in which two rectangles are on the parallel sides, on the opposite sides. They are parallel to each other. Square is same. Two squares are on the opposite sides. <coughs> Next is pentagonal prism. In this pentagon having five sides, they are opposite to each other. Hexagonal in which six sided polygon is opposite to each other and parallel to each other. So children in this also triangular prism, it is having five faces, six vertices and nine edges. Like here you can see how many faces are there. One, two, third one, fourth one. And the fifth one. So these are the five faces. Six vertices children. Where these lines are meeting each other. It is known as the vertices. So at a point where they are meeting. And nine edges. Where these lines or these faces are joining each other. That is known as the edge. So like this also. In the pentagonal also there are seven faces. Ten vertices and fifteen edges. Hexagonal eight faces. Twelve vertices and eighteen edges. Next is children, pyramid. In pyramid, it is the three-dimensional geometric shape formed by connecting all the corners of the polygon. In prism, they were parallel to each other. The polygons were parallel to each other, but here they should be joined at one point. So they will form a pyramid. In this also, there are different pyramids like triangular pyramid. So triangular pyramid have triangle at the base. Triangular pyramid will have a triangle at the base. So it is having four faces, four faces including base. That is in the form of a triangle. Four vertices and six edges. Quadrilateral pyramid, it is having five faces out of which four faces are triangular and one will be in the form of a quadrilateral. Five vertices and eight edges. Next is pentagonal pyramid. It is having six faces. Five faces are triangular and one face which is at the bottom, it should be a pentagon. Six vertices and ten edges. Next is children, nets. So, a geometry net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape. Now, suppose this page is there. If I will fold it, I can easily form a cylinder from it. So, this page, you can say it is a two-dimensional page. When I have folded it, I have formed the cylinder, I have formed a three-dimensional figure from here. So, this is known as the net. From uh, a two-dimensional figure, when you, will, you can form a three-dimensional figure, it is called a net. Next children, these are the nets of the cube. But whenever you have 
to uh, form a cube always remember that there should be total six square should be there <clears throat> if they are increasing by six like if there are seven squares you can't form a cube or cuboid if there are five cube uh, five squares again you can't form the cube or a cuboid so every face you can see that there are six squares are there next children these are the nets of the cuboid these are the nets of the prism in the nets of the prism there should be a triangular part triangle should be there in the nets of the prism similarly in the pyramid also there should be a triangle next children isometric dot paper this you should buy from a stationery shop or if you are having a practical notebook at the end of that practical notebook you should have a isometric dot paper okay it look like this so try to take it for the questions next children it is polyhedron a polyhedron is a three dimensional solid with straight edges and flat surface so its edges are three dimensional a poly it is a three dimensional solid its edges are straight and the surface is flat okay so now, now children there is one formula which is known as euler's formula it is number of faces plus vertices minus edges should always be equals to 2 if it is 2 it means whatever face vertices and edges we are taking of a figure it is correct so the answer should always be 2 now children exercise 18 identify the nets which can be used to form the cubes and cuboids this you can see from this page only children whichever figure is similar to this it, you can easily form a cube or cuboid from this so from here from the second figure third and fourth when you will fold them easily you can form the cubes or cuboid next children fill in the blanks a cube has dash vertices dash edges and dash faces so a cube has how many vertices eight how many edges 12 and 6 faces a point at which three faces of a figure meet now point is known as the vertex a cuboid is also known as a rectangular prism because in cuboid also rectangles are on the opposite side and they are parallel to each other a triangular pyramid is called a tetrahedron triangular pyramid if you will take it is also known as a tetrahedron Next children, write down the number of faces of each of the following figure. So in cuboid, how many faces are there? 6. Cube also same. Triangular prism, 5. Square pyramid, 5. Tetrahedron, 4. Next question children, in the book only you have to do these questions children. Write down the number of edges of each of the following figure. Now how many edges are there in tetrahedron? 6. Rectangular pyramid, 8 cube 12 and triangular prism 9 write down the number of vertices of each of the following figure so how many vertices are there in cuboid 8 tetrahedron 4 square pyramid 5 and triangular prism how many vertices are there 6 now children next question the question number 6th and 7th we will do later on question number 8 this is a table children given to you cube how many faces are there 6 cube vertices 8 and edges how many 12 when you will solve them according to the Euler's formula you will get answer 2 let us solve 1 what is there first of all number of faces 6 plus vertices how many vertices are there 8 minus edges are 12 so children 6 plus 8 is equals to 14 14 minus 12 is equals to how much 2 so if the answer is coming 2 it means our number of faces vertices and edges are correct cuboid 6 faces 8 vertices 12 edges triangular pyramid 4 faces 4 vertices 6 edges square pyramid 5 faces 5 vertices and 8 edges and triangular prism 5 faces 5 vertices and 9 edges and everyone's answer we will get 2 next children question number 9, uh, 9, 10th and 11th we will do later on 12th is how many vertices does a pentagonal prism have so how many vertices it is having it is having 10 vertices 
After this children, integrated exercise is also there. So this also you will do these questions in the book. So complete the following table. Hexagonal prism is having number of faces 8. Number of edges 18. Number of vertices 12. Again by Euler's formula you will get 2 as the answer. Fill in the blanks. A square pyramid has dashed triangular faces. It will be 4. A triangular pyramid is also called a tetrahedron. Dash is a 3D solid having no edge. Sphere is having no edge. Next children, question number 8. Rest of the questions we will do in the next video. Write